How to sell online courses using Gumroad. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video I'll be covering the platform Gumroad and I will show you exactly step by step how to get started using it and how to start selling online courses using it. Now, what's special about Gumroad is that it is actually for free and you don't really need to um, pay monthly for any type of uh, subscription or any any of that as you can see the only thing that they will be gaining is a 10 percent um, fee when they actually when you actually make a transaction so this is pretty much all there is to it a charge of 10 percent whenever you make a transaction somebody actually buys a course from you otherwise it's completely for free so now let's actually just go ahead and jump into how to get started so basically you will need to visit gumroad.com to get started um, you will find yourself in a different page just click on start selling uh, and then we will we will just want to go to start selling and create our account i'm just going to go through these steps of creating an account it's not going to be a, a difficult process so i'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead and find you when I'm in the actual dashboard. So I have just finished my signing up process. It's very simple. Just use Google and then we will need to verify our email. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you should find yourself in this section here or, or this dashboard. You will have a uh, homepage, products page, emails, checkout, analytics, and more stuff in here. And you can always access your settings and your profile information. But what we are really going to be focusing on is creating our online course so let's actually get started and um get get on creating our course so basically we'll need to navigate to products section on the left side click on products and here basically we'll need to go ahead and click on new product because we want to create a new one and we will be filling in some of these information uh that are listed here so for example the first thing that we will need to do is actually give it a name which is going to be for the course so give the course a name that is suitable that is going to be um highlighting what exactly this course is about so i'm just going to be doing testing course because i'm not really going to be selling a course it's just for the sake of the video now, the second thing is you will need to select the type of product that it is. Now, they offer multiple things here, like digital product, physical good, uh, ebook, and more stuff. But we are going to be um, talking about courses, so we will be selling a course or tutorial. So make sure you select this one. Lastly, here we have the price. So we will need to list our price. You can change the currency here. For some reason, they're kind of invisible, but you can see them. I'm just going to keep it as a US dollar uh, and we will add the pricing point for our course. Now you can also add uh, something that is called allow people to pay whatever they want, which we will talk about later. But for the time being, you will need to set up a pricing point. I'm just going to do 50, for example, and move on. So let's click on next, which is the customization tab. It should take us to the customization um, parts of the process where you will have on the left panel all the editing stuff where you'll be able to add your um, details and on the right side you will see the preview so the first thing is going to be the name again if you decided to change it for some reason you can do so right here next up you will add a description now this is very important to add a very clear description on what people are getting make sure people are um, understanding exactly what they are paying for so make sure you add your uh, description in here so now that you added your description and your name we will scroll down a little bit and give this course uh, a url so just do something most of the time you just keep it as the name of the course i'm just going to name it uh, or add the url as test uh, test course and if you want uh, you will need to add your custom domain i'm just going to leave that empty and then we have the cover image for the actual course now it is recommended that it is at least uh, 1280 by 7 
uh, 20 pixels so make sure those are accurate otherwise it may look not proper you know some things are going to be cropped off and so much more uh, you can use any free platform like canva for example to create your design and feel free to um you know showcase your designing skills when it comes to it if i can i don't really have an image for it i'm just going to be using this one hopefully it's going to work um it's just for the sake of it uh just so you can see on the right side the actual um preview and it kind of fits properly so it's good enough so next up is going to be the thumbnail thumbnail is going to be showing in your profile uh, so basically this is going to show up when people are in the store and they're going to be buying the course now it depends on how you want this thumbnail to be whether it's going to be um, your image or your logo or whatever it may be just make sure you keep it within the size limit uh, which is 600 by 600 uh, let's see if I can just upload anything here. Uh, it's square, so let me just upload this purple image. Hopefully, okay, it's not going to work. Let's try one more. One more. Okay, so it's not going to work. Anyways, so make sure you have the right sizing for it. And uh, feel free to upload it. Now, here we have the product information, which is going to be some of the stuff that you can also see down here. So the call to action button is going to say, I want this or buy this or pay. Um, it's completely up to you. Unfortunately, you can't really uh, have fully customize this, but I will just keep it as uh, I want this. So whenever they see the button, it should say, I want this. Uh, I'm just going to keep it as that. And you will have your um, summary. So just summarize if you want uh, what is going to be included in the in the course so if you want to actually go ahead and summarize them uh, and points you can actually do so and you can see on the right side that they the summary actually shows up now we have additional details here it's obviously optional if you want to add more details about the course or any other details that you want to add before having people buy your course you can feel free to add them in here for integrations, this is basically if you have a community or a Discord server that you want people who are buying the course to join to, you can actually just go ahead and select them. This way, you will need to go ahead and, um, uh, or not go ahead, when you actually, when somebody buys the course, they're going to be invited to join the community or the Discord server. Obviously, if you have a specific thing, you will need to connect it. For example, if it's a Discord server, you will need to connect your Discord, and if it's uh, a community, you'll need to uh, add your API token. Now, for the pricing here, uh, you can obviously change it again if you if you if you messed up with the first time. Uh, but now you have also the option to allow customers to pay what they want, and you can also set up a minimum amount if you want to. So, for example, minimum amount, and then you can have them pay whatever they want. Actually. Uh, and you can also leave a suggested amount. So you would add, for example, um, how much you think it is worth. But at the same time, you can pay whatever you want. Now, it's completely up to you whether you want to keep this on or not. So after you finish up with your pricing, you will have the versions. Now, with the versions, you can add a different version to it. So for example, you can have a add-on to the course. So people can actually buy something extra for more money basically um you can add this or not completely up to you maybe it's a pdf for example or whatever it may be that you want to add uh, you can just feel free to add version and fill out these informations about it if you want additional amount quantity description and so much more uh, it's going to show up in here as you can see on the preview and they can just add it to their order uh, and you know they can buy both at the same time so you can think of it as a bundle Thing. so i'm just going to remove it i'm not going to add anything and then lastly for then for the product section we have these settings where you can limit product sales for example if it's a limited uh, edition whatever it may be allow customers to choose a quantity i mean it's a course it's not going to work with that and then more stuff here like publicly show the number of sales on your product page whether you want to show this or not uh, mark products as e-publication for vat purposes 
now this depends on you and where you are located obviously you will need to check this out and learn more about it uh, specify a refund policy for this product you can actually check this and add your refund policy now after we are done in here we can just click on save and continue hopefully they're not going to stop me because they didn't fill some of the stuff now for the content here we can actually go ahead and start creating our course now here you can actually go ahead and enter some text as you can see some text here uh, and then we can also add more stuff uh, in here so we have our text basically and then you would want to add uh, for example a a folder or an, a video it depends on exactly what you are looking for to add in this course now remember this is actually going to be the course that the people will be buying so make sure you uh, professionally take your time to edit this uh, to their needs and add all there is to it now you can feel free to use the tools up above we have the texting formatting here bullet points and so on and you can also have links if you want and so much more here you can insert your images uh, insert a button that will take them to a specific link insert uh, a video most likely which is going to be a file or a pdf whatever it may be uh, and then we have more options which is going to be list of posts license key uh, and then if you want to also embed a, a tweet you can also do so and you can always create another page so just feel free to go through the steps to creating your course exactly how you want it to be and once this is done we can just click on publish and continue obviously just don't add like what i just did i have only one piece of text obviously that wouldn't count as a course uh you know you try to not scam people i guess so lastly we have the sharing option here uh, after you're done you can just copy your link uh, you can share on facebook share on x and basically it's going to be copy your your link uh, and now it should be basically there you just share your link everywhere and people will be able to purchase your course uh, now here you can also have more settings here gumroad discover for example which is going to be gumroad's uh, personal marketplace if you want to actually set this up uh, but mostly is going to be copying this link and sharing it with people just make sure you click on save changes at the end and you should have your product listed in here and people can actually go ahead and start buying your course and this is pretty much all there is to it now i need to note that you will need to go ahead to the settings tab and set up more stuff like your payment method uh, and all of those all of those personalized things so you can actually get paid uh, and this is pretty much all there is to it this is how to start selling courses on gumroad it's very easy it's for free uh, and it is actually very uh, useful so i hope you found this video to be helpful and i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching